I want to introduce my uh, one of the two deputy uh, center leaders, uh, and that's Kevin Lyon. Uh, Kevin is going to, and he does this every year, uh, give out the awards for the energy contest for the undergraduate students. So, Kevin. I should mention Kevin is a professor in the uh, School of Business. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Can you guys hear me? Okay, so this is the exciting part of the REI symposium every year for me. Um, just a couple minutes before lunch, we uh, give out our annual uh, awards for our energy contests for undergraduate students here on the New Brunswick campus. So my task today is to uh, announce those award winners. Now, the unfortunate thing about this time of year is that some of our students are taking exams. They're doing important things like trying to graduate. Um, so today, um, a couple of our award winners are, are not here. So what that means is that I get to keep the award-winning uh, checks that they get um, and invest it in uh, carbon sequestration projects or something like that. No, just kidding. So um, two quick things before I, I make the announcements. Um, the goal of this contest for all the students, the challenge that they have, and when they listen to the fantastic presentations that we have today, is when you think about the possibilities, the challenges that we have, and you think about Rutgers as an institution and the size and the scope of this uh, place we call uh, Rutgers, the 65,000 students of close to 900 buildings uh, that we occupy, and the second largest bus fleet that we have uh, operating and moving faculty, staff, and students around campuses, our carbon footprint is pretty significant. And when you put that challenge to our students that the university has an opportunity to demonstrate all the great things that you've heard today um, with a challenge, for instance, of reducing or becoming carbon neutral as an institution by 2030, uh, it's no longer just an idea. It is could we use the brain power and the innovation of our students to try to get there with their ideas and solutions uh, based on again, some of the ideas that were presented today and in past REI comp, uh, uh, symposiums. So their challenge is to develop something that's implementable, something that includes the expenditures, of course. We have great ideas and we can do all kinds of things in innovation, but is it economically responsible? So that's part of the challenge that the students have as well. Uh, reduce energy consumption as part of that uh, challenge. Uh, and promote eco-solutions that have, I believe, first-time innovative uh, concepts because it's one thing to actually come up with an idea, which you can obviously get off the internet, um, but are the students actually thinking uh, this through? And then, of course, uh, the demonstration of energy conservation as well as part of it. Okay, so with all that said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the announcement of who the winners are, starting with third place, second place, and then ultimately the uh, first place uh, winners. So um, in third place, the uh, title, I'll give the title of the project and then the, uh, the students' names afterwards. Uh, third place goes to the team that uh, produced the project, a multifaceted approach to minimizing waste from Rutgers Dining Services. Okay, and that team uh, it consists of Joe Wu, Matthew Liu, and Moise Rolf. Okay, can you guys hear? Come on up. <laughs> this project was uh, fairly innovative because this is a project that looked at the uh, idea of consumption before the students actually consume, developing systems which would capture and uh, allow the dining services folks to pinpoint the amount of, of consumption prior to uh, the actual preparation, the ordering, and all of bringing the food in. The university, as well as a lot of other institutions, uh, disposes of a significant amount of, of food waste. And if that could be controlled and that, that could be pinpointed more accurately, the amount of food waste and the energy that it takes to produce that food 
could be significantly redu uh, reduced. So uh, congratulations, guys, third place. Uh, our second place winner, um, and one of our students who's uh, deeply entrenched in exams right now, um, is, goes to the uh, individual, in this case, who designed a project called Are You Pool? A Social Carpooling Application for Rutgers University Students. Okay? And that uh, goes to Katarina Pisavoli, and she's, uh, again, not here. But the uh, innovative concept, when you think of carpooling, I was thinking, well, that's not very innovative. Um, but what she was able to put together is very sophisticated and actually works on students' uh, schedules, looking at the opportunities for matchmaking, a very sophisticated network of carpooling that would absolutely reduce significantly the amount of uh, vehicles on the university's uh, campuses. And then, on top of that, have a way to actually track the progress of the uh, reductions as well. So this way, you can not only implement a program, trap it, report it, and then have goals set for on a yearly basis. So that's uh, Katarina's project, okay? Now, we have a tie for first place, all right? Um, we, you know, with the brain power that we have at REI, for some reason we could not with the, uh, uh, the two uh, fantastic last two projects, decipher between them who was best. So we had to uh, award to both. The first one is uh, the project title Skytran at Rutgers, and this goes to Ariel Schwab. And Ariel, if I'm not mistaken, is also um, taking exams. And um, no, Ariel's here. Well done. Come on up. Okay. This is a, a project that not only, again, you can think of SkyTram type systems and you think of the first thing that comes to mind is like Disney. Um, however, uh, in this particular piece, Ariel actually went through and did all of the analysis to make that possibility um, worthwhile here at the university, in including the economics, as I said before. So Ariel, uh, obviously left her exams halfway through in order to get here for the, uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, so thank you very much, congratulations. Okay, and our other uh, first place uh, winner goes to the proposal titled, The Proposal for an Inductively Charged Wireless Electric Bus System. Okay, and that was uh, produced by Lazar Gerlichman. That's it. Also here. Well done. Lazar took this to a whole nother level, obviously, you know, using words that I can't even pronounce, but that's okay. Um, but this particular proposal, and I think there's a, uh, all of them have uh, descriptions and proposals out front. Uh, again, looking at the sophisticated size of the system of the Rutgers bus system and being able to apply uh, this type of, of wireless electric bus system uh, technology uh, when you think about the footprint that our current bus system has and then be able to look at what uh, this proposal had, uh, significant millions of dollars of reduction, um, a cost analysis that would ultimately hopefully pay for that over the course of time, but something that I think the uh, transportation system here at Rutgers could seriously think about. So with that said, our winners. Give me a hand. Okay. Now, Paul, do you want to announce uh, a couple things? And I only get to keep one check now. <laughs> thank you very much, Kevin. Thank and thank you very much. I'd like to uh, just conclude by thanking all our speakers once more, and you can all go out and enjoy a lunch and chat with each other. So thank you all. Thank you.